Yo, what's going on? Just checking in with everybody. Um, I hope everybody's uh, week is going well. Um, I hope everybody's day is going well. Um, I just wanted to stop by. Um, I'm back again for a word of prayer and encouragement. Um, so I just want to make this space uh, for the people. Um, it's an open form. Um, if you need prayer for anything, if you need a word of encouragement um, for any areas of your life, um, I just want to take this time every Sunday at two um, and just open up the floor for anybody that needs prayer and encouragement. Again, my name is Brandon. I've been a believer for uh, nine years now. Um, and um, my family and I, we, uh, you know, we stand on the word. We're not perfect people, but we definitely stand on the word. And, um, you know, we just want to make sure that we're um, being obedient um, to God's call on our life and that we open up the space for people that need pr words of prayer and encouragement. Um, so today's uh, word of encouragement, first of all, um, I want to speak on this through Acts chapter seven. Um, and I'm going to go a little deeper on this one because we may have, um, if you read it before, you may have missed something. So I just want to spend the block on Acts 7 um, and then open up the space for uh, prayer and encouragement. So I'll start with a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for your people. God, I pray that, um, God, that you are sending the people, Lord, that uh, need a word of prayer, that need a word of encouragement. Um, God, empower me um, as I pour out for your people. May I decrease so that you can increase, that your kingdom can increase and that your work can increase on the earth. And God, I just pray for each and every person that may listen to this live in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I am going to, so Facebook Live is a little bit different. So I'm probably right after I finish the live, I'm probably gonna stop by and um, and drop uh, Acts chapter seven of the verses that I'm referencing. So um, you guys can read on your own. Um, but I want to circle back on uh, the book of Acts. So the book of Acts is basically everything after Jesus had uh, died, resurrected, and now the disciples and his followers were doing works all on the earth. So I was at church today, and this this scripture just came to my mind where I was just seeking God like, okay, God, what should I share with the people? What should I put out for the people today? And uh, God dropped it on me, um, Acts chapter 7, and it basically breaks down all the drama that popped off after Easter. So, you know, Easter just passed. I know people, you know, love Easter. We want to dress up. We take pictures with the family. It's a good time. We drop those hashtags. He rose and it's all good. But there was a lot that took place um, coming into Jesus dying, resurrecting, and all the events that popped off afterwards. It was a lot of drama because death was finally defeated and death still wanted to linger around. But Jesus was like, nah, like I defeated the grave. I'm still here and my power is with my people. So I want to talk about somebody from uh, the book of Acts and uh, Acts chapter 7. His name is Stephen. He was one of Jesus' followers. And a lot of people don't talk about Stephen. Like, Stephen isn't like a big dog in the Bible. Like, he's not like Moses or David or, you know, uh, Elijah. Like, he's not like a big dog. Nobody really talks about Stephen much. But one thing that always stuck out to me about Stephen was uh, Stephen, he was on trial. Uh, all of Jesus' followers were on trial uh, by the uh, the Romans. And one thing that stuck out to me about Stephen is he went to trial to be stoned to death. And right before, unfortunately, he was stoned to death uh, for his faith in Christ, he had a moment where he prayed. He looked up to heaven and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. And when he passed on, Jesus took him up. And it, it just, it's just so crazy that at this point, Jesus had already resurrected. He had all the power, all the glory. But Jesus saw fit that, yo, this guy right here, I'm going to stand up. I'm on my throne. I'm in glory. I've been called up. I'm the man, right? And he actually took the time to stand up on Stephen's behalf before his death, before his persecution. 
And I think that even with us, when Stephen wanted to do the right thing, he wanted to share the gospel, he wanted to be a follower of Jesus. When we're doing the right things, the enemy will seek to stone us. The enemy will throw those stones at us uh, through different situations, through different trials and tribulations. And even with that, Stephen, even though, again, he wasn't a big dog in the Bible, big dog in the spirit, Jesus saw fit to stand up for him. And maybe you feel like Stephen. Maybe you feel insignificant. Maybe you feel like I'm not a big dog in this world. You know, I, you know, I'm here, but I'm not that impactful, right? So you may feel that way, but Jesus felt differently. Jesus saw fit that, yo, even in my glory, I'm going to stand up for this man. I'm going to stand up for what's right. And I see him and I feel him. So if you feel like Stephen today, I just want to give you a word of encouragement that even in the midst of it, even in the midst of you feeling small, even in the midst of stones being thrown at you, just know that God is there. God is there. Jesus sees you. The Lord sees you and that he is more than willing to stand up for you. And I'm a living testimony and millions of others are living testimonies that even in our, even in the grand scheme of life, the grand scheme of um, spirit, the spiritual realm, the grand scheme of the earthly realm, we may feel small. God still stands up for us. God still sees us and he recognizes us. So I just want to leave that word of encouragement with you. So before we head out, I just want to kick off a quick uh, general prayer. Um, again, if you have a specific prayer request, you can drop it in the comments. Or if you just want to keep things, you know, um, low key, want to keep it anonymous, you can send it to my inbox um, and I will definitely be praying for you. But Father God, I just thank you for your people. God, I pray that you will bless them on this week. Lord, I pray that as we learn about Stephen, Lord God, that you will stand up for your people, that you will be um, their, their righteous guard on this week, Lord, that you will stand up in all your glory, um, might, and power, and honor, Lord, on this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So, God, I bless you all. I thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you on next week. God bless. Peace up.